is for subunit 3.1 about Montessori. Uh, Montessori was a position and she noticed that children who were wild or unruly or even seemed to be mentally disabled were a lot of times bored and needed different ways to um, to learn and to um, take in what was around them. So she developed a system of teaching that helps those children to learn uh, practical things as well as educational items. So what she took with her, what she took when she was teaching uh, mentally handicapped children, she refined and changed and um, was able to develop a curriculum for um, quote normal children as well and trained teachers in her curriculum. Benefits of her curriculum are that children learn on their own time and that I think is a great benefit as that they can guide their own learning, choose and be engaged in what they're learning so that they're really getting the maximum effect of the tools around them. Um, limitations, maybe one would be um, for children who are extreme or you know more special needs might need more structure than what Montessori offers as far as just a routine, but I don't think there are many limitations to what Montessori um, methodology is. Montessori observed that um, when a child was truly interested in what they were working with, it was very hard to disengage them or distract them from the activity. So she took this and um, made reading um, more tactile. She made the sandpaper letters in the blocks and the um, different ways that they could read letters and make sounds instead of just reading on paper. They could actually manipulate the objects, manipulate the blocks and the letters and trace them and really be involved and engage in what they were doing so that it was interesting to them and they were wanting to do the activity and learn what was being shown to them. Um, and what little observation I have done, I have seen some sensory, um, but in traditional classrooms they don't do as much. Um, but I have noticed some sensory things, um, especially with um, computer centers or with um, listening centers, um, children using audiobooks and things like that to listen to stories and lessons, um, but not as much really with the blocks and materials um, as far as learning reading and writing and things like that. I have not noticed a lot of that in my observations.